go to the GitHub page and download the latest release. Open the zip file and start the application from within the zip file. You will be asked to install the application and click yes. Once installed, it will also be available on the command line. To make the changes effective, you need to re-login into the Windows account. Click on the download icon to download and install a specific version of Java, for example. If the application detects that the environment variables are not yet configured, then it will give you the option to do so. The same thing applies to the path environment variable. You can, of course, install multiple versions of Java. And then later on, switch between them. In this example, we're going to set Java 8 to our global version. We are going to relog in into our Windows account to make the changes effective. We can now see that we're using Java 8 in our command line. With the SDK UI command, we can open the SDK man UI application. There we can switch to the other version that we have installed, in this case Java 17. And only for this command prompt. The other one still uses Java 8. Now we are going to download and install Java 21. And we're going to set that to our global and local version to use. And as you can see, both command prompts now use Java 21.